first, Peoria is getting some new resources to address violence in the community. It's a discussion that's been in the works for quite some time now, but could it finally be happening? We've got team coverage on how the mayor and city council leaders are now working to curb crime within the city of Peoria and the programs that are now available to assess the violence. And we begin with our Demetria Sanders with what, what Mayor Rita Ali has to say about a string of recent shootings. Demetrius. Well, Rebecca Shelby, since last year, a group of Peoria City and community leaders known as Safety Network have met to discuss ways to reduce violence. But the group's work has created quite the stir within the Peoria City Council the past few weeks. Now Mayor Ali is clearing up some of those concerns and says it's time to get back on track and address the issue at hand. After a record-setting 34 homicides in 2021, so far this year, the number of shooting incidents, victims, and murders in Peoria are down. There's been a spike here recently. But shootings are an issue that continue to plague Peoria, and they are disproportionately impacting the black community, which account for 98% of the city shooting victims this year. These are the numbers that we cannot ignore, and this is not just a black problem. This is a community problem. Last year, Mayor Rita Ali created a community work group known as Safety Network to come up with solutions for gun violence. But conversations among city council members about the group's work have been riddled with questions about its transparency and trademarks. Politics, personalities, bureaucracy have gotten us away from the original focus. Tuesday, changes were announced for the safety network, including its name. The group will no longer be referred to as SNET, and meetings of the safety network will be public moving forward. Ali says her goal is getting back to what's most important. And that is working collectively to reduce the violence and to save lives. And with four people just this month that have died due to gun violence in the city, First District Councilwoman Denise Jackson says addressing the issue affects every corner of Peoria. If you don't deal with it, 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 it tends to spread and it spreads all over the city. Now, last night, the Peoria County Board of Health authorized $25,000 for an assessment from the program Cure Violence. Mayor Ali says it's her hope that the city council agrees to implement the program if the assessment shows that it's right for Peoria. Shelby.